Hi guys and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Uh, this time it's all about my custom PC or computer case top plate uh, that I made for my Be Quiet Pure Base 600. It is. Um, so yeah, it's actually a custom design which I thought of. And as you can see here, we're right off starting um, with machining the underside of the plate. Um, this was actually just hold it down by or hold down by uh, double sided tape which ended up not working so very good <laughs> so I came up with uh, with another idea but I haven't uh, any footage of it um, so yeah you can see some feeds and speeds and then I uh, okay this is now ac because I actually don't have any footage of roughing out the underneath of, of the plate so this is footage of finishing with the 5mm ball nose end mill um, at a step over of 0.15mm uh, spindle is running at 30,000 rpm and uh, came out actually pretty nice um, so yeah this next shot is uh, just a picture of of the underside of the plate right after machining and here you can see uh, I started machining the top and as you can see the fixed fixturing on this project I actually kept it pretty simple it's just a, um, a sheet of plywood which uh, in, in which I just milled some or drilled some holes which will accept my M8 hole pattern in my CNC table and then I um, bolted it from the underside or I bolted the plate which I'm machining right here from the underside of this fixture plate. So yeah this actually ended up uh, working out pretty well and uh, yeah this is just roughing out the outside contour and at the last step I'm just finishing the contour but this it, it really went super smooth um, the next footage what is it uh, oh yeah it's just trimming the ends to size um, to the final dimension and after the contour was done I actually went in with my 5mm ball nose end mill and just started uh, machining the top pattern that I designed. Also again with a 0.15mm um, step over and I actually did some or yeah how should I call it um, I experimented with the RPM of the spindle um, because it was programmed at 30,000 RPM. I sometimes went a bit higher and a bit lower, which I actually think you can see in, in the in some pictures of of the fresh freshly machined plate uh, because there are some witness marks. But I found that. In, it sounded the best at around 28,000 RPMs. So yeah, this is actually all of the machining. Whole lot, a whole lot of chips were made, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, yeah, but you can see the next shot uh, where I just vacuum off all those chips. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice reveal of, of the finished plate. Here you can see it. Um, pretty fun. I always like doing stuff like this. Um, yeah. Also here you al already can see if you pay really close attention to some of those witness marks where I changed the uh, the RPM of the spindle. And also the spindle just went super smooth and I think it was at max uh, 27 degree Celsius uh, of the liquid, of the cooling liquid. And here you can see this big pile of chips, which would, which was generated by the spindle. But yeah, it was a fun project. 
um, in the next chart you can see uh, the actual runtime of this top phase uh, 3 hours and 70 minutes uh, pretty impressive non-stop of course and yeah this is fresh off the machine then I went over with uh, with a wire brush and cleaned it off and then I just gave it a uh, couple coats of paint of this brass paint or bronze paint which has a bit of a structure to it which is pretty nice and yeah there it is on my PC pretty cool I think um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and hope to see you in the next one bye bye